Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm gonna tell you the secret of our new chimney and all about our wood stove because I know I'm gonna get lots of questions. In a recent video, I showed you our new DIY hearth that we put in front of our chimney and how we did that process. Now I'm gonna share a little bit more about the chimney because it is not as it seems. Whenever I posted the reveal photo of our chimney on my Instagram and said that I was going to paint the brick white, I had so many people who told me, do not paint that beautiful original brick. It's so beautiful. It tells your home story. It's the history and I realized that I had forgotten to mention that the brick wasn't real. And I, I almost felt bad, and I feel like I now need to tell you guys all that it wasn't real. I really didn't intend for you to think it because I knew that it wasn't real. I just forgot to tell you the story of what happened with our chimney. So we always knew that we wanted to heat with wood here in our house because we heated with wood in our last house for 10 years. I grew up with wood heat. There is nothing like wood heat. Whenever you're really cold, you can go up next to it and just get that intense warmth, almost like getting into a bathtub on a really cold morning. And so I knew I wanted wood heat. We had no clue what the condition was of our chimney because the previous owners had it capped and just never used it at all. And they had lived here for 20 years. So it'd been quite a while since it'd been used and we just had no clue what to expect. The first winter we were here, I think our utility bill was around 500 a month for the gas. So yeah, this old farmhouse is pretty expensive to heat up, but we never got around to just getting the chimney project done. It's one of those things. We had a million other things to do. And I was determined that by the winter of 2020, we'd be heating with wood. So I called a chimney guy in June and I thought, you know, if I get this started now, we will have wood heat by October. And we came in just in time. There really weren't any huge surprises when it came to our chimney, except for that the entire thing had been replaced in modern times. So way back in the day, you can see evidence in the basement that the chimney was brick. It went through the entire house, but at some point someone ripped the chimney out and added a new cinder block chimney. Could have been for various reasons, um, for whatever reason they needed to modernize the chimney but it was still in good working order. All we had to do was add an insert. Now where the chimney is, is right when you walk in our entryway to the left is the chimney. And we think this is because at some point this house was added onto and maybe that was the outside wall of the original claim shanty, possibly. It's really hard to say. There's evidence that that could be the case because of the ceilings matching between that and the kitchen and then also where the basement is under the house. That is the exterior wall for the full basement. The rest is just more of a crawl space. So it suggests that this was the outside wall and now it's the center of the house, which actually works really perfectly for heating. So we had a few challenges. One, it was covered with some old, ugly, crumbling plaster. It was awful every time. We always had to keep some artwork or a chair or something in front of it because the kids would get into it and it was crumbling. We were so excited to finally rip the plaster off. And when we pulled it out, we realized that half of what was there was just built out and it wasn't actually the chimney at all. The chimney was only like this big, whereas what we have now is a lot larger. And half of it was cinder block. And so we didn't really know what to do. When we had the chimney guy come, he said, you know, you could put drywall up, but then the stove will have to come way further out because it can't be close to a wall that's not um, non-combustible. So a wall that is combustible. He said, your best option is to cover it with something non-combustible. You could do brick, you could do tile. It just needs to be something that isn't wood or drywall or plaster. And so we thought we can't leave an exposed cinder block chimney. That's not charming. That's not what this house would have had originally. So we decided to cover it with brick. I didn't spend a long time picking out the color or anything because my plan was to cover it with the fake brick veneers to make it look like brick and then to paint it because I knew it wasn't gonna look like the original brick. And so I was like, you know what? The best way to fake this will just be to put it on and paint it. That way it'll look like the original chimney, but painted. Well, to my surprise, when the chimney guy came and he bricked the entire thing, the day after he did all of that and he left, I was like, Luke, I don't know about my plan to paint this anymore. It looks so warm and inviting. This center room here, this entryway, 
it needed color. And as I lived with it for a few days, I'd come down the stairs and I'd see the, that beautiful brick. I'd pop through the kitchen, see that beautiful brick. From every angle in the house, every view, I saw that beautiful brick. And I told him, you know what? I don't wanna paint this anymore. We started getting that idea in our head. And I posted a picture to Instagram, like I said, and everybody said, you shouldn't paint that. And it dawned on me that everyone thought that it was the original brick. So the brick that I chose was called Old Chicago. I will leave a link down in the description box for the actual brick veneers that we bought for this, but it just has an aged look to it. I had people say, wow, your brick looks so aged, but yet still in such good condition for the age of the house. I'm like, well, okay. So this actually matches and looks really pretty. So we decided to go ahead and keep it. We had the stove guy add a chimney liner. So the chimney guy added a chimney liner. It looked like original brick and we were ready to go for the wood stove. Now you'll notice that whenever we actually put the wood stove in that the pipe that goes out is curved. The reason for that is that the chimney really wasn't this size. At some point they extended it over, I think just to create a little bit more symmetry between the rooms. I really liked that size, so I was okay with bricking the whole thing and then curving the pipe, which I think ended up looking really good. We went with the Yodel stove. I believe it's the Oslo 500. It is rated to heat up to 2,000 square feet. Our house is 2,400. We're going to have to get creative with some fans. So he said that we should reverse a fan in here to pull air into here, put a fan on the stove to push it that way. We'll have to do a lot of that to get the air flowing the way that it should, but it should significantly warm this house up for the winter. We're so excited to make our first fire. Today's high is 69 and the lows are in the 40s. I'm like, maybe we could just like try it and see how it goes. I will leave links for sources down in the description box for the slate that we used, the wood stove, and the bricks. We're just really excited to get heating with wood this fall. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse.